Hi friends, hope you're doing well. Um, just thinking about some things as things are heating up. Um, I know a lot of people have air conditioners and those work great. Um, if you're trying to cool the house down maybe on a budget a little bit, there is a different way to do it. It's called a swamp cooler. Um, and uh, basically it works on a different uh, principle. It doesn't have a condenser like a typical AC unit. It works with a water pump right off of your water line. And then um, it takes that water and it goes over kind of a uh, cardboard filter and then the air blows past that and it'll cool uh, about 30 degrees. Now it works better in dry climates so if you're in a, hu a humid climate I wouldn't suggest it but where we're at it's very dry so it works very well. So on a hot day here we might hit 100. This will cool it back off to, to 70, 75 degrees which is about as hot as it'll get around here. <clears throat> so uh, basically all you have to do is you've got two settings here. You've got a fan setting and you've got a cool setting. You want to make sure that you've got water going to it, which I just did. And I'll show you how that works. And you open this up and it will blow the air. And I can already feel it's cooling down from the cold water. It, when the air gets cold at night, you can always use the fan setting and that works great too. So come on out with me and I'll show you how this guy works. So here you can see this, it's just getting going. You can see some of the cardboard is wet, uh, but essentially there's a little pump inside there with a float just like you'd see in your toilet float, and it shuts the water off when the reservoir gets to be enough, pumps the water to the top, it trickles down, and that cold air, uh, basically uh, the air uh, that it sucks in blows across there and cools it down about 30 degrees. Works great. So there's the water line, nothing too complicated there, and that comes right over to here. Hi, Mittens. And it hooks right to the water line. So in the winter, I just disconnect it so that it doesn't freeze. So, uh, and it's much cheaper than running a traditional AC unit um, where you're going to see those um, power bill increases when it gets warm. This probably adds maybe $20 to $25 to my power bill in the summertime and I can let it run 24 seven. It's really not much different than running a light bulb. And whereas I've got the basement, the uh, air will push in and then uh, it will circulate. It'll help that circulation and cool things down pretty well. One of the things you have to do is close uh, all the windows uh, in order to make it work really well. And then you also need to open one window on the side of the house you wanna draw the cool air to. So it basically works almost like a suction. So on another video, I'll show you how that works so that you can hear that.